Another card school is down the road for the lot of you. British working men, eh? What? Oh, British working men, all the same, aren't they, Jack? You in charge of that load of layabouts? I'm in charge of all the layabouts. I own the place. Mr. Baldwin? That's right, Jack, Mr. Baldwin. And what are you supposed to be doing? Uh, unloading. Then look as if you're unloading! Right, give it here. Slowly. How's it going? They're taking the... You bloody idiots! Come on, let's get out of here! Tomorrow! Ernie. Did you? I'll ask you a question. You're not regretting tonight, are you? No. Should I be? No. In my experience, the things you regret are the things that you don't do. The chances you miss. That's what you regret. My place? Yeah. All right. All men of all people! You decide to have an affair to enliven the tedium of your marriage. And you have to go and pick a little creep like him. I didn't pick him. I didn't go looking for an affair. I didn't want an oh, affair. Oh, I see. It was an irresistible impulse. Was it written in the stars? This thing was bigger than both of I you. I hate you when you talk like that. What us. you hate is the truth about your sordid little bit on the side with a spiv like Baldwin. At least he's human. At least he wanted me. I wanted you! You never wanted me, Ken, or kids, or anything. It's your pride that's hurt, that's all. That's not true, I'm afraid. I loved you. I'm the man you married. I'm exactly the same now as I was then, and if that wasn't what you wanted, why did you marry me? Oh, Ken. Ignore it. No. Why did you put the phone down on me? It's Ken. He knows. I've told him everything. Get out of this house. Shut up! Shut up. Oh, I'm oh, warning you. Get out of this house. Let's go. You go. Let's go. I've had enough of your poison in my family. More than enough. Look. Oh. Mr. Baldwin! Oh. Mr. Baldwin! There's no point, is there? You can just walk out after killing my kid. You're not leaving here until you tell me why you did it. I did it because I, me, Susan Baldwin, had no choice. Oh, there you go again. Put another record on. Listen to me! I married you because I loved you. I was crazy about you. And I'll be honest, I, I never thought of marriage as settling down, having a family. I thought I was marrying somebody who'd make my life more exciting, more interesting, who'd enrich it. You'd made it, you'd done something with your life. I hoped you could help me do the same. I didn't realise that that was the last thought on your mind and you never told me. We went all through that, you know. All through that about you wanting a career. I gave you every chance. Every chance. I even staked you. And it was you. It was you said we'd have a go at having a kid. You said it. I know. I shouldn't have. You promised me. The minute I knew I was pregnant, I knew I'd made a terrible mistake. Yeah, well, it was too bloody late then. No, it wasn't too late. I'd made a mistake. But I didn't have to go on with it feeling bitter and frustrated. What sort of a mother would I have been? What sort of a wife? What sort of a human being? Surely women are just as entitled to be reasonably happy as men. It's not our fault we're the ones who get pregnant. But if being pregnant isn't what we want, if it's going to ruin our lives, then we've got the right not to go on with it. And that's why I had no choice. If I was to be honest with myself and the baby and with you. 
And as far as you're concerned, I just hoped you might understand just a bit. When you killed my baby, you killed our marriage. Anyone serving here? Are you monopolising the place? Don't you start. I'll start any time I like where you're concerned. Look, just keep out of there. Just Look, you sold him a lot of junk. You're really you enjoying this, aren't you? Hey, as a matter of fact, oh. I am. Hey, Jack! Bastard! Not this one! Oh! 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 Come here, you! Come here! Leave it out! All right? Leave it! All right. I never started it, did I? No, I'll vouch for that. Started it? You started everything. All right, come on. Come on. Leave it, you. Oh. Oh. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Michael Vernon Baldwin, to witness that I, Michael Vernon Baldwin, do take thee, Jacqueline Rachel Ingram, to take thee, Jacqueline Rachel Ingram, to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. my house. Oh, come on, Jackie. I mean it. Get out of my house. Oh, what are you going to do, eh? Pull the trigger. Don't make me do it. Well, go on, then do it. Go on, pull it. I've got nothing to lose. Go on. Do us both a favour. Not even loaded, is it? Don't be stupid. Get out of the car. Come on, turn the engine off and get in, will you? Look, let's talk about this. Jackie, for crying, for God's sake, Jackie! Jackie! I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Michael Vernon Baldwin, take thee. Alma Marie Sedgwick to be my lawful wedded wife. And now, Alma. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Alma Marie Sedgwick, take the Michael Vernon Baldwin to be my lawful wedded husband. All right. Well, you've certainly got guts, Barlow. I'll give you that coming here after what you've done. I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything? Leave it, Mike. It's not Ken's fault. Of course it's his fault. He gave the police exactly what they wanted to send Deirdre down. The woman that he used to love. Look, there's nothing I can do about it. I wish there were. You know your trouble, don't you? Jealousy. You've always been jealous. You always will be. You know your problem, Baldwin? You're a little man with a big mouth. You're jealous of Deirdre, you're jealous of Susan, and most of all, you're jealous of me. Jealous of you? And there's only one thing worse than jealousy, and that's treachery. And you are the most treacherous, oh, evil... Oh, my... You little man! Stop it! Oh, stop it! Thank it in! The poor of you! Mike, come on, now! Let's just get out of here! What's got into everybody oh. tonight? If Deirdre goes down, it's because of you, Barlow. Do you want to know the biggest joke? The biggest joke in the world. The biggest joke is that me and your lovely wife here have been having an affair behind your back. He's drunk. Get out! And if all your friends and colleagues found out about that, that's when they'd be laughing at you. I said, get out! What is it? Do you not believe me? Then ask her. We were having sex in your precious little factory an hour before you asked her to marry you. So you see, Dad, you are the fool. And we made you the fool, me and her. You OK? Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm fine, yeah. Tough night, eh? Yeah, yeah. Don't know what to say. No. Thanks. They uh, want us all to go to the hospital and get checked out, so, um, see you later. Yeah. You look after yourself. And you. Bye. What exactly happened in there? It's a long story. I can't wait. The mistakes you're making, I know. I've done them all myself. I lost the best things in my life. I, I, I walked away from them. I said nothing and... 
I live to regret it. Well, you're lucky, aren't you? Because you got your son an air back now, ain't you? Eh? For all the good it's doing you. It's doing me no good at all because he doesn't know. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Day by day, he's counting the money that's coming to him. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I'm not talking about Adam. Well, is there anyone else here then? There's you. Me. You're my son too. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you're not my brother's son. You're mine. you inside. I, I haven't got a key. No, get you to my place. Get you room. Mike, you're meant to be in hospital. I always keep my keys in my pocket. Mike, you're in your pyjamas. Yeah, but... Oh. Oh. You shouldn't be here. I'm calling an ambulance. Oh. Hey, your yeah, ambulance, please. Stand him. Yeah. Yes, go to have an ambulance, please. Oh, quickly. You can make anything Coronation out, Street, Weatherfield. No, no number. We're out on the street itself. It's a very tough fiber. Yeah, well, it's a friend of mine. He's meant to be in hospital, but Alma. I found him out here in his pajamas. Alma would be worried about me. Baldwin. What's My your Baldwin. phone? Phone Alma for It doesn't look too good if you could have it. Thank you. She'll be in the calf. All my feet are cold. Yeah, I had the keys in my pocket, I think. Yeah, it was opposite opposite the rovers. But now it's gone. Oh. It's all right, Mike. It's no, it's right. not. It's gone. No, Mike, it was not down, Mike. This is your factory now. You own this factory. What are you doing here, Paul? Looking after you. I don't need... don't need anybody looking after me. Where's, where's Deirdre? She's at home. Oh. Yeah, but who's home? There's something I've got to tell you about me and Deirdre. I know. What? She told you? Mike, that was a long time ago. No, 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 no. No, she's going to leave you. She's going to come and live with me. She's going to get the kid, that, that, uh, Tracy, and she's going to come and live with me. You're finished, Barlow. Deirdre loves me. She's mine, I... Oh! Huh? No! Mike! Oh. Mike! Oh. No, you don't, Baldwin! Oh. No! No, you don't, Mike! Oh. Come on! Come on! Oh, no! No! been looking everywhere. He's dead. He can't be dead. I think it was his heart. He can't be dead. Get off him. There's nothing you Just can get do. off him. Get off him. Mike. 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 Mike, listen, it's Dan. Mike. Come on, Mike. Ken? Michael, come on. <laughs> 